So I'm outside today uh, checking on the damage from the latest storm we had. Uh, mostly it just rained a lot and there was some wind so there are a few plants that are blown over and need restaking and uh, also there's some flooding in various areas so I'll address that uh, later on today as it dries out. Uh, one of the things that I'm looking at now are the condition of my tomato plants which I planted um, at the end of January, early February, because we had some days in the 80s and I thought that it was heating up and you know when I took the soil temperature it was above 60. But it looks like that wasn't a good idea and that these plants here are stunted and the leaves on the bottom are drying. It looks like they have nutrition deficiencies. So looking today at the soil temperature, I see that it's 53 degrees thereabouts. So, not exactly ideal for tomatoes. Um, so I'm thinking about what to do, whether to just leave these in the ground or whether to start new seedlings and try this again. These tomatoes look even worse. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and pull these and put them out of their misery. The other tomatoes, though, that were here from last year uh, during the fall, seem to be doing just fine. So maybe it's just a matter of whether the plants were already established before the cold hits or whether they are brand new seedlings. Um, it looks like these seedlings, even though they've been in the ground for about a month, haven't grown any uh, taller or stronger since I planted them. These are some lasagna tomatoes and again, they're looking weak. They have flowers on them, but I don't expect to get any fruit off of these flowers. Um, and they also have some mold on them. Again, the established plants look okay. And although they're flowering, I haven't gotten much fruit off of them. Usually, uh, I guess for the past month, the flowers have been dropping uh, rather than producing fruit. Again, another sad looking plant. So I think that maybe it's best for me to just start over with new seedlings and maybe try planting in April um, instead of continuing this. Um, so looking around and seeing what state my plants are in, I've come to the conclusion that uh, you cannot grow whatever you want around uh, in this area. Uh, in Southern California in Zone 10, uh, whatever you want. Um, you know, of course you can put them in the ground and whatnot, but they won't grow well. You have to wait until the night temperatures rise and the soil temperatures rise. So right now, although we have days that are in the 70s and 80s, at night it plunges down into the 40s and the 30s. So quite a big temperature spread there. And apparently the soil isn't, um, I guess, a great enough thermal mass to uh, hold on to the heat from the day. Um, so it's best to just go ahead and stick with the winter crops like the carrots and the greens and the cold crops for now. And maybe not try to plant uh, new peppers and tomatoes in this, in this weather.